A conditional statement is an if-then statement. If blank happens, then blank will happen. For example, if you study your math, then you'll get a good grade. Okay. Now what the converse is, it's you switch the two, the hypothesis and the conclusion. Whatever comes after the if is the hypothesis, whatever comes after the then is the conclusion. But when you switch those, we call this the converse. Now if the conditional statement is true and the converse statement is also true, the way I like to think about it is if you say it forwards and then in reverse or backwards, the converse, if they're both true, both those statements, then that means you can write it as a biconditional statement. Bi meaning to, conditional meaning if then, okay? And we can symbolize this with a double arrow. So if uh, P, if and only if Q, or Q, if and only if P. And that's how you wanna write your biconditional statement. What you do is, if it's true forwards and reverse, meaning the con conditional and converse are both true, you drop the if and you replace the then with this phrase, if, and only if, okay? And so what that does is it tells the reader, meaning you and me, that it's true forwards and in reverse. So let's do an example. So if a triangle has an angle measure that's greater than 90 degrees, then it is an obtuse triangle. So just a quick visual here, say you have a triangle and this angle is 120 degrees, then we would call this triangle an obtuse triangle, right? Okay, but now here's the thing. Whatever comes after the if, okay, meaning a triangle has an angle measure greater than 90. That's our uh, hypothesis. Whatever comes after the then, that's our conclusion, right? So is this true? If a triangle has an angle measure greater than 90, then it's an obtuse triangle? Yes, that's true. But now what we're going to do is we're going to switch the hypothesis and the conclusion and see if that's also true. So let's say it in reverse. So if a triangle is an obtuse triangle, then the triangle has an angle measure greater than 90 degrees. Is that true? Yes, that is true as well. So what that means is that we can write this as a biconditional statement, and here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna drop the if, and we're gonna replace the then with this phrase, if and only if. So here it goes, a triangle has an angle measure greater than 90 degrees, if and only if it is an obtuse triangle. Okay, we got it. So let's do a second example. It says a number is rational if and only if it can be written as a ratio of two integers. Okay, so just a quick review in case you don't know about rational numbers. See this word rational? Rational just means it can be written as a ratio, meaning a fraction of an integer divided by another integer. Okay, so for example, two thirds, that's rational because it's an integer over an integer. Say for example, square root of 16, that's equal to four, which is like four over one. That's a ratio of an integer over an integer. So let's, uh, read this again. So they're telling us it's a biconditional statement. See this if and only if? That tells us that it's true forwards and in reverse. So let's break it down into its original conditional statement and its original converse statement, okay, before we put it together into this biconditional. So how about uh, first, if a number is rational, then it can be written as a ratio of two integers. Okay, let's do the converse now. If a number can be written as the ratio of two integers, then it is a rational number. So you see how if we're given a biconditional, we know that it's gonna be true forward and the converse. I like to say it like in reverse backwards, but what we're doing is we're switching the hypothesis and the conclusion. So remember, conditional statements are if-then statements, but when you write a biconditional, you drop the if, you place the then with if and only if. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with biconditional statements better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.